Uh, do you know Boyd Matson, who works for NBC here? Boyd Matson, good-looking blonde guy. What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> Go ahead. He used to work with us, and he'd come in in the, just the damnest outfits you ever saw. <laughs> I mean. What, was it your interview with David Letterman where he was telling him, like, you, he used to be a weatherman and he'd come on with shorts because he's a woman who knows her crew. Yeah. Well, they're going to tell you sometimes. <laughs> we have tea. We have tea. Get out of the shot. Sorry. All right. Well, Harry, it's good to see you. I was looking forward to it because we did have a chance to meet when you were making the movie, or after it was released, movie, movie. Mm -hmm. Had a chance to talk about that, and I mean, you really have a change of pace here in this movie, Making Love, playing a homosexual. Now, when you uh, were approached about doing this role, Harry, was it something that you immediately wanted to do, or you said, hey, give me time to think it over? Well, when I was first approached, actually, they, they, somebody called me up on the phone and they gave me a little synopsis. They said, you're going to play a homosexual, and the story is da-da-da. And I had my reservations, I must say. I said, send me the script and I will read it and, and give it whatever uh, credence it deserves. And uh, they did that. I, I read the script, I read it twice, and loved it. And decided immediately that uh, this is something that I should do. Did you, um, for a moment, stop and say, hey, why me? <laughs> you know, why are they calling me? I mean, did you, did you have some sort of, of moment when, uh, when you thought, why would they think of me for a homosexual? Well, uh, no, I, I don't know. They, uh, they talked to a few people about this role, and uh, at least one person called me up and said, hey, you're the only person who can play this uh, because of your, uh, your past relationships with women, that, which are somewhat visible. And uh, they said, you can play it, you're not going to be afraid to play this role. Which, which is, there's some truth to that also. Did your wife, Ursula Andress, have anything to say one way or the other about it? She was all for it, absolutely. No, uh, she just saw it last week and loved it. Uh, was very supportive throughout. But times have changed now to the point where I don't think that there's a stigma attached with doing this kind of a role now. I talked with Ned Beatty after he did the role in Deliverance. Mm -hmm. Remember, he, mm -hmm. he, in a scene, he was raped. And he told me after the movie was out and he started getting some flack about it and a lot of kidding and everything, he said, had I known it was going to be like this, I never would have taken the role. Now, are you starting to get any kidding or flack or anything from No, him? no, none at all. I don't expect any either. Um, I mean, certainly some people will crack some jokes about it, but I can deflect those. Uh, I think anybody who sees the film realizes that it's a, a serious attempt, that uh, we're not doing something that can be uh, ridiculed in any way. It, it certainly is not exploitation. I think we should say that right mm -hmm. here and now. It is not exploitation. In the scenes, Harry, where you and Michael actually have to kiss and embrace and, and make love, now, how did the two of you, in the very beginning, approach that with Arthur Hillard? Well, I, uh, my first question, of course, was, was how it was going to be done, and is it, was it going to be tasteful? And he described to me the shots, he described to me uh, the movements, and I realized immediately that Arthur was uh, not only in complete control, but also knew that he wasn't going to exploit us or the idea in any way. In terms of, of researching that part and rehearsing that part, Michael and I decided not to uh, go in depth there. We, we, we rehearsed the rest of the picture for two weeks before uh, we started shooting and this particular scene we omitted from the rehearsals and we decided that we would wait until the day and not really do it, not really kiss, not really embrace uh, until the cameras were rolling, until we had it on film. We wanted to get a certain amount of awkwardness, a certain amount of tension, which we knew we could get if we waited. And we, if we rehearsed it, we would have to, we would get the tension we would overcome the tension, and then we have to get it back somehow later on. So we decided to just make it totally spontaneous. Are you saying then that those scenes were only done one time in one take? We shot uh, them twice, and we used the first takes for those scenes. So um, Arthur likes to, to uh, do a lot of takes, but in this case he only did two. I think sometimes in watching actors work, Harry, and I think you would have to agree to this, uh, and we all do this in life even, when we're in a situation or approaching a situation that's going to make us a little uncomfortable, it's a new situation or something that we're not sure of, we have a tendency to make jokes and, and go into it with, you know, with a, a lot of levity. Was there any of that between you and Michael? 
Well, there was, um, we, we made a rule at first that we would avoid uh, some of those jokes, but they crept in uh, to break the tension, to break the ice now and then. Uh, yeah, and they're perfectly natural, normal. They didn't affect the performance, I don't think. Did one or the other of you have more of a problem playing a homosexual? Uh, did you have more of a problem than Michael, or he more well, than I you? I really can't speak for Michael. He seemed not to at all. He seemed, uh, we, we both approached it professionally. We both uh, uh, approached it as we would any other acting assignment. Uh, I certainly didn't have any tremendous problem doing it. Uh, I felt it was a great challenge to do, and I, I felt as, as though I needed to do a lot of research for the role, which I did. And a, l a lot of preconceptions that I had were destroyed by, uh, by the research. Uh, for instance? Well, the, the obvious stereotypes uh, of gays in the media, which have been used, in, for example, on La Cajol Fall, limp wristed, somewhat queen-like, to coin a phrase, or use a phrase, uh, we decided to go against that. We decided to find uh, the non-stereotype. We decided to find uh, and use characters that really existed uh, within the society without being recognizable as homosexuals. Well, Harry, it's a film done with great taste, and I think a film, though highly controversial among some people, mm -hmm. I think that it's a film that has a lot to say, and I thoroughly enjoyed your performance and enjoyed seeing the film. Well, thank you. Uh, I hope that it works. It's a romance. It's not supposed to be exploitative. It's not supposed to be blatantly controversial. It's supposed to be romantic. Thank you, Harry. Good to thank see you, you again. Yeah. Good interview, Harry. She's here, please. Yeah. You, know, oh, okay. you got different yeah, background? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Well, I'm one. Uh, yeah, I'll give you some reactions. Is this a good focus about here? Yes. About here? Okay. Is that all filmed on Santa Monica Boulevard? Oh, a lot of this stuff. That, oh, sorry. Uh, excuse me, we'll be doing sound. Nat, are you doing sound? Oh, okay. That's okay. Most people don't, but we do. Okay. When you were first approached about this role, Harry, did you have any reservations at all? Uh, well, actually... No, you don't need to do that. That's, that's fine. You don't need to. Um, okay. Do you have any regrets about doing this role, or do you think you will have? When the jokes start coming and the flack starts coming, Harry, are you going to be able to handle that? I once talked with Ned Beatty after he did Deliverance and had the controversial rape scene in it, and he told me that had he known the flack he was going to have to take, that he never would have taken that role. Do you have any of those feelings? For you and Michael on team, for you and Michael, when you actually had to do the kissing scene and the making love scenes. How did you approach that? Sometimes in life when we are in an awkward situation we have a tendency to make jokes and have a lot of levity in there. Was there any of that going on between you and Michael in these kissing scenes? Did your wife, Ursula Andress, have any objections to your doing this role? What was your wife's reaction to your doing this picture? Okay. I think that should about do it. Thank you.